talk, which I do, kids really, uh, kids really love, you know, to uh, come into the kitchen and help their moms. But sometimes we think that uh, the kids should not come because what happens is they, are, uh, they take some knife in their hand and if it gets cut, we are very worried. So for the learning process, I have prepared Chef Fresh Chef is one of the workshop which I take for the kids, which is from four years to 14 years. And also I have a workshop where I teach some of the uh, men's where they can cook very easily when no one is at, at home, they can easily cook at their home, which ingredients are available at their home. So definitely we are going to learn all these recipes today, what I have, uh, I'm going to show you that all, I think it's in your uh, kitchen. If not, some one, two ingredients you have to bring it or just order it from uh, online. It is very easily available to uh, get online. And definitely today's first recipe, which I'm going to show you is watermelon upma, which is very delicious, which is, you know, something, a combination of tangy also, uh, sweet also, and spicy also. So it makes fantastic upma out of this uh, watermelon, because what happens, you know, when we eat watermelon, the outer side, only the outer side of the watermelon, which is very green, we only peel it, but the white portion which is there in the watermelon that we are going to use today in watermelon upma and it's really delicious when you are going to see this recipe today what i'm going to prepare and you're going to prepare at your home you will really love it i think so and if you love it definitely don't miss to tell us what is your uh, you know the taste what you have made out of this recipe so today i'm going to showcase four recipes what are that? Watermelon upma I'm going to make. Sprouts bale I'm going to make. Sprouts patties I'm going to prepare for you. And the last is the mocktail which is made of watermelon. So this four recipes today we are going to prepare. And definitely I think you're going to enjoy it because when you are at home, you're not going to only make yourself, but your whole family is going to be introduced and they will come into kitchen and help you. That is my confidence. Is it? Definitely. So, can we start with the first recipe? Are you ready? Are you ready everyone? Can you just tell me? Yeah, thank you. So, what are the ingredients for the first recipe I'm going to show you? I have taken, just can you see this? I have taken watermelon and this is cut. See, this white portion I have taken where a little bit red portion of watermelon is there. Yeah, I have taken some chilies, some cut onion, kadi patta, some of the capsicums. This is kaju. Definitely you and I love dry fruits. I have taken only ca ca cashews and I have taken this anar that is pomegranate. So this is all masalas which I have kept here, which is limbu ras. This is mustard. This is jeera. This is hing. This is uh, salt red chili powder, jeera powder and also haldi. So out of this, this is the basic thing, this is the oil and all these ingredients are for the first recipe which we are going to prepare as watermelon upma. Can we start? Definitely. What I'm going to do is, I have taken a pan here, I'm going to just on the gas. Just let it heat for uh, some two minutes and definitely then we can start it now. I have taken some oil here. If you want to take some ghee, that is also okay. But for all the recipes today, I'm going to use oil. If a substitute, if you want, you can use butter also. You can use uh, literally because what happens, you know, for butter, uh, kids love that flavor. Kids love, you know, the cheese flavor. But today, cheese and butter, I'm not going to use it because whatever the ingredients you have at your home is very easily available and all these ingredients are easily available. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this type of spoon, four spoons of oil, let it heat a little bit, Now 
Now what I'm going to do is we have taken fresh curry pattas. So just I'm going to take out of this. I have washed it very properly. So you have to wash it very properly and just keep make it dry. So you know it is very easy for uh, preparing this uh, recipes. The basic thing is. if you have all the ingredients properly maintained recipes are very easy to make so you can make it in a very short period for the breakfast for the lunch for the brunch any time so now uh, i think oil has been heated little bit i'm going to take this something around 10 to 15 curry patta leaves now second ingredient what i'm going to take is i have taken green chilies it's two big green chilies which i have taken i have cut it in the pieces and i'm going to just add here now the second third thing what i'm going to take is mustard wow I'm going to just toss it a little bit. You can hear this tar 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 voice, which is really makes you refresh. You know, in your kitchen, when you're making some recipes in your kitchen, it gives you a big pleasure. And what is that pleasure? That when you're cooking and you're making something, this all the voices you can hear while preparing this, it makes you refresh because you know music therapy is very good. and this cooking is also a music therapy with colors of recipes and definitely when we eat it it makes you refresh and healthy so definitely if you don't go into your kitchen you should try to go into the kitchen and make some recipes so the first thing what we have done is we have taken four spoons of oil then 15 to 20 something leaves of curry patta then two to three green chilies then mustard now i have taken some cashews i am going to just roast it wow fantastic i am going to roast it some cashews when you can see that curry patta and green chilies are getting a fantastic aroma and you know it, it gives you a fantastic thing because when you toss it into the oil it starts getting you giving a fantastic aroma now some of the cashews are starting to get in the brownish color immediately what we have to do is make it on the low flame add some cut onions into it i have taken a small onion and the pieces of onion cut into the dice <coughs> into the medium spice pieces i am going to toss it again yeah only a second or two seconds i'm going to toss it i will not toss very much i'll not make this onion very much brown but after tossing immediately what i'm going to add is that green capsicum into it i have taken a small green capsicum and cut dice pieces to it i'm adding this into it again stirring stir it well what do you know why i'm stirring it well because all these ingredients and flavors should go into each other that is the basic thing we have to stir it very properly fantastic now you don't have to you know uh, make it very very much stirring and uh, we cook no it's already fantastically now as i said you everyone watermelon i have taken now what is this watermelon <coughs> the white portion of the watermelon with little bit portion of red color we actually throw this white color but it is very healthy and we should have it because it's watery it gives you a healthy 
and literally a booster energy to you. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to toss this into this masala, what I have made. Wow, fantastic. You can just see the color of this upma is fantastic. Wow. With the cashews, with some chili. So what I told you, with the, all the ingredients into it makes you fantastic filling. Now. I have increased the flame of my gas. What the next is, I'm going to add some, of course, salt. But salt is a pinch that you will get a perfect taste. So without the help of the spoon, I definitely use my pinch for the salt. So three pinches of salt I have been used. I have taken this lemon juice. This is a lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. So, two spoons of lemon juice with a tangy flavor. It gives you a fantastic tangy flavor. I have cut this pudina and coriander. I have mixed it. So, some pudina and some coriander leaves will go into it. Wow. And I'm going to toss it again on a high flame. So it will take, you know, five minutes now for the supma to get prepared. I'm going to just keep it as same for just five minutes. Till then, what can we do is we can prepare some other recipes. Yes. Now. Only for the garnishing, I have taken this pomegranate. So now I'm not going to put it. I'm going to put it, add it after preparing it, not now. So I'll take it here. I'll keep it aside. Now one of the recipe is getting prepared. So fantastic pre pre preparation is going on. I, I Do you like this recipe? Just tell me if you like it. And I also want to hear about it. That how is it going? Did you like the recipe? And now... I'm going to take the second preparation bowl. Now, what is this preparation? For the second patties, what we are going to make is, what I told you is, I'm going to make a sprout patties and a sprout bale. So, these are the three sprouts what I have taken. This is kabuli chana, red kabuli chana. I have, you know, the sprouts have come here. Very nice sprouts have come. I have taken this matki, yes. And I have taken this white chana also. These are the three potatoes which I have boiled for three to four whistles and I have peeled it and I have mashed it. This is definitely a rice flour and this is the chaat masala. So now we are going to have a bowl and we are going to make a dough for the tikki. So I'll take a bowl here. Till in between, what I'm going to do is just stir it in between, definitely. Because you know what is it? It is a watermelon. So it starts getting water into this pan. So you have to just stir in between. No red chili, no haldi, nothing for this. It's just cashew, it's just curry patta leaves and some green chilies where I have taken and the mustard. So, you know, it's really fantastic when you taste it. So, you have to prepare it and taste it. Now, for the second recipe, we are going to make a dough for the tikki. Now, what are the ingredients? As I told you, is a red chana. This is matki. Okay. This is white chana. With the sprouts. What I'm going to do is, with the help of my hand, I'm going to just, you know, mix it thoroughly. Yeah, great. So, all of this has been mixed properly. Now, what all other masalas are going into it? First is the chaat masala. So, half teaspoon of chaat masala. 
in the beginning again we have to had uh, had it but not now only a pinch of hing haldi quarter teaspoon red chili powder 1 tablespoon now i have taken as i told you this is the combination of coriander and the mint leaves so i'm going to add some coriander and mint leaves into it wow this is the fantastic flavor you know which will have it in your patties i have taken the lemon juice so two tablespoons of lemon juice into it you know when i am preparing it fantastic aroma is coming why because of this also and your upma is getting red now again with the help of a spoon you can just stir it after stirring it the thing you have to add is your salt pinch pinch two pinches of salt big pinches of salt and now when you stir it what you have to do is you have to take your mashed potatoes and for the tikki how much you like because these are the three potatoes which i have mashed peeled and mashed i have boiled it peeled it and then mashed it so first i am taking 3/4 of this potatoes i'm going to mix all this yes great then i'm going to add some rice flour also into it great yeah i have taken 3/4 of potato which is mashed little bit is left that i'm going to put it afterwards in the end in between what you have to do is our upma is getting ready so we have to keep a watch on your upma also super in 5 minutes it will get ready Okay. Now, I'm going to take this flour. This is rice flour for the binding. I'm going to mix it with my hand now to make the tikkis for this. you know you don't have to mash all this sprouts but little bit only you have to make it properly a dough out of it for the tikkis it's a best combination of rice flour and also the potatoes with all the masalas which i have used it is giving you a perfect aroma for your tikkis for your breakfast and a tea time snacks also as i said i have used three fourth portion of the potatoes from the bowl now if you think so that you want some more potatoes for your tikkis for the binding you can use it that is the reason i said that you don't have to use it immediately otherwise what happens you know only that the potatoes are been seen but not all your sprouts are seen in the tikkis one trick for your kids you can do is that if your kids don't like the sprouts and you want your kids to have the sprouts then definitely use more potatoes make a you know dough of the potato fill it all the sprouts into it and also you can make the tikkis out of it so it's very easy yes now this is a dough which is perfectly made for the tikki only a spoon of oil 
I can take here, I am putting here for the perfect combination. Wow. All these aromas are getting mixing, you know. The stickies and this all upma, fantastically <coughs> done. Yes. So what I'll do is, I'll take this spoon out, I'll take this spoon here, all these masalas will go here, and I'll make small, small stickies and keep it here. For this, what I'll do is, I'll dust some Wow. This I have to stir once. See. A little bit, you know, some of the flavor you can just see. It's getting brownish and fantastic color. Oh. <coughs> now I'm making it in a very, very small flame for just two minutes and I'm going to make it, I'm going to turn it this bowl into my serving plate. Super. Now, what you have to do is just take this rice flour, just spread it in your plate and make some tikkis. If you want small tikkis, you can make small tikkis. If you want bigger tikkis, but what I prefer is little bit small, small tikkis. What you want to do is take some oil on your palm, just spread it, Take a small dough, make it in a bowl, in a round ball, just <coughs> press it, and your small tikkis are ready. Oh, it's so easy and it's so simple, and all the ingredients are here at your home. But what you want to do is for sprouts, what you have to make the preparation that one day you have to put your sprouts, whatever the sprouts you're going to take, put it into the water for one day, peel the water out and in the cloth you have to take the sprouts and keep it in a tight cloth so you know sprouts will come out of it and then with the three whistles or only two whistles, not much but two or three whistles, you have to just make it in a pressure cooker. So what will happen that all the sprouts will be cooked properly and your tikkis will be done very promptly. So this type of tikkis are very easy to make. Only the preparation, the first preparations what you have to do is very basic preparations and it's very easy if you want to have healthy and definitely a tasty food at your home. So... These are the tikkis, what I'm going to make it, four tikkis and of course the uh, portion what I have told you is that makes you around 12 to 15 tikkis. Uh, chef, you've gone on mute. Can you just unmute yourself?
हेलो 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 हाय शेफ आई थिंक यू हैव म्यूट यू हैव बीन यू ऑन म्यूट कैन यू प्लीज अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ स्नेहा कैन यू प्लीज कॉल हिम या आई एम कॉलिंग हिम so now uh, can you hear my voice hello yes chef yes you were mute for for a while now we can hear you yes now can you hear my voice yes yeah thank you so uh, i have already done it with uh, the tikkis have you got the recipe for the tikkis what i have done just can you tell me that have you heard the tikki recipes Yes, we have heard. But if you want, you can shortly explain us. Yes, yeah, sure. I'll explain you in a short. But till then, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a bowl because our upma is ready. Watermelon upma is ready. Super. I'm going to just turn off my gas, and the watermelon upma. I'm going to turn it into a bowl. as i said for the decoration what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some pomegranates wow some freshly chopped mint and coriander leaves and this is how your watermelon upma is ready do you want to have it definitely but only you can see this you have heard the recipe now you have to try this recipe at your home and definitely invite me to have this upma of watermelon so this is the first recipe which has been prepared i'm going to keep it aside for the second recipe i have taken a small pan i'm going to again like that. only some two spoons of oil and till then i'll let you know again that what are the preparations of the sticky what we have done is we have taken three types of uh, sprouts that was white chana red chana and some matki we had boiled it for with the three bisels what we have done is also some potatoes we have boiled we have peeled it we have mashed it and then into it all the three ingredients sprouts then potatoes some chaat masala and then we have to literally make it a tikki in this dough what i have done is just i have properly made this 12 to 13 tikkis you know it will not stick and that is why i'm going to take i have taken some rice flour into it fantastic you can also use bread crumbs if you have but i don't uh, probably use this bread crumbs and all this but i take this rice flour you know and it gives you a fantastic uh, thing now also in this we have added some coriander and the uh, mint leaves see the stickies will go in the pan super so 
and it does take much time for the preparation because all the sprouts have already been you know boiled potato also has been boiled only to make and give a good color we want to make this this chickpeas i am going to have it uh, for the next time so i'll keep it aside super so just a time bit little you have to just make it on the other side little bit brownish for the stickies you can just see within some time it gives you a great color for the stickies and it's delicious with this pudina chutney if you have pudina chutney because it's very easy to have pudina chutney take some fresh mint leaves that is pudina take some little bit of coriander into it and two to three uh, green chilies and just a pinch of salt and just grind it with little bit of water your pudina chutney is done and it gives you a fantastic taste with pudina mm. chutney of the sprouts patties great wow and only little bit of you know oil is required only two uh, small two tablespoons was required so not much of oil and it's very healthy and very easy to make you can have this for the ragda patties also at your home when you have it super Now for the final preparation, I'll take some dish. so patties are ready to serve what i'm doing is i'm making it a final presentation so are uh, you just looking for that tikkis how what a color yeah fantastic color you know pani and no only the bread crumbs nothing to be used just turn off your gas and the tikkis are ready to serve i have taken some tomato ketchup here Wow. Super. So the stickies are ready. I'm going to just keep one. Pudina leaf. for the presentation and here's your tikki ready so this are the sprout tikkis what i have shown you for with this what will go is if you want to have for the dinner because i know you're very tired and you want some recipes which are very healthy and very fast to make so this tikki is what you have done is you have taken three sprouts you have boiled it and fatafat you have made this chickpeas now with the same basic ingredients i am going to make a fantastic combination of this sprouts bail so what is this sprout bail i am going to take a bowl what ingredients are taken for this is very easy all the sprouts what you have at your home is ready is boiled with the three whistles i'm going to add this in this bowl the same sprouts which i have taken for the tikkis that is matki white chana and the red chana so this three then i have taken some cut simla mirchi that is capsicum 
I've taken some carrots. Wow. I've taken beetroot. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to stir this all. Stir this all vegetables and the sprouts very thoroughly. It gets mixed with each other with the fantastic colors. Now it's very easy, fantastic and very fast to have it. Now what all ingredients you have to add into it is, I'll just show you. You have to take chaat masala, quarter spoon of chaat masala, only a pinch of salt because already chaat masala we have used it. I'm going to use here a pinch of red chili powder. If you have chili flakes, you can use also chili flakes, definitely. I'm going to use three tablespoons of lime. Wow. Now, some coriander and mint leaves, which will go on the topping. And also, I have used some pomegranates, you know, for the first recipe, which was watermelon upma. I have kept some here to garnish it for this fantastic sprout dale. I just have fantastic mixture of this dale with all the sprouts and the veggies and the masalas. And your sprout bale is ready with, as I told you, with the combination of tikkis and sprout bale. So here it's ready. So three recipes are ready here for serving. I'm keeping it aside. First was bread upma, sorry. First was watermelon upma. Second was the tikki. And third was the sprout bale. Now for the fourth recipe, we are starting immediately because we don't have much of time. This all ingredients are ready for the recipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very big bowl. I'm going to take a bowl here. Now for this pancakes. What I told you is veggies pancake. It's very easy, very fatafat to do it. You have to take one, one bowl of wheat flour, one bowl of wheat flour, half bowl, half bowl of suji that is rava, one fourth bowl of curd that is dahi, Mix this properly. We have taken one bowl of wheat flour, half bowl of suji, and one fourth bowl of curd. We are going to mix this. This is also a very healthy recipe. If you don't have at your home a wheat flour, you can take any of the flour which is very healthy. And you can make this pa uh, veggies pancakes, which is, you know, fantastic. Or you can have a fantastic taste also. Now, you have to add some water, but not now. Now, you have to add all the vegetables. What vegetables I have taken is capsicum. And a very finely cut. This is the capsicum, a small capsicum. Only I, ha I have at my home only green color. If you have any of the color of capsicum, you can use it. You can have multicolor. So one capsicum finely chopped. Superb. Finely chopped carrot. What I've 
done is I have taken beetroot, but I have not cut into the pieces, but I have peeled it. So beetroot. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. And last but not the least, I love this onions. If you don't love it, don't put it. If you want onions, you can have it. So chopped onions into it. Super. Again, mix it thoroughly with all this flour. Don't use water till now because all this masalas also have to go into this. And then we are going to pour some water into it to make a fantastic batter for the pancakes. Super. Yes, so all these ingredients have been mixed properly. Now what you have to do is, you have to add salt into it. So, salt with the pinch, say two to three pinches of salt will go into it. Wow, fantastic. Now, I'm going to use some chaat masala, only a one spoon, say, because it gives you a fantastic taste also. If you have amchur powder, please make sure if you have amchur powder, please use amchur powder, but not chaat masala. That is the best option for this recipe. If you have amchur powder, please use amchur powder, but not chaat masala. And if you don't have amchur powder, you can use the chaat masala. Finish. That is, you don't have to put many more ingredients into it. It gives you a fantastic flavor. Now, we have mixed it properly. Now, we have to put some water into it. Slow by slow, you have to put some water. Yes. And make a fantastic dough for the pancakes. The curd will make the fermentation process for this uh, fantastic recipe. And suji will also, when you bake it, what will happen, you know, we are not going to use any microwave or something. Only we are going to make this pancakes. So it's very easy and very fast to make. Yes, you need little more water. See the color. All these vegetables have gone inside fantastically. And it's very healthy because we are going to use all this. Suji and wheat flour are everything. Yes. Now. Is it done? Very good. It's perfectly done here. You know, this batter should not be much of watery and not much uh, hard. It should be semi in this form. As you know, you should you should get it to pour into your pan. Now, what I have done is I have a pan here with these four things. I make my uh, uttas, mini uttapas or any of this type of, you know, pancakes, veggie pancakes. I'm going to preheat this. Yes. Until this gets preheated, you know, this will get fermented in 5 to 10 minutes. So, now, fantastic till then we will have some discussions. Uh, as I have shown you all these three recipes till yet, and this is the fourth recipe in the process. And the fifth recipe is already been prepared with the ingredients, only we have to mix it. So, have you really enjoyed all these recipes? And I think so. It's a quarantine period. You all are at home with your family. You have to go into the kitchen and with your family, you should try one of the recipe with everyone. And when you have this recipe, when you prepare each, with each and everyone's help and you serve to each other, it gives you a fantastic taste, whatever it's been. Now, it's already preheated. Now this batter is ready. Super. 
you can also keep this batter aside for something 15 to 20 minutes for you know because we have used curd so it gets fermented but if you don't have time and you want to make this recipe fatafat it's not uh, that you have to keep it you can make it very fast also so little bit oil only for the greasing little little bit yes that's it what i'm going to do is with the help of the spoon i'm going to pour this wow colorful veggies fantastic is done pancakes are going to get prepared I love this recipe. I think so. All this ingredients what I have shown for this recipes is all at your home. You don't have to go out because you have to stay home, stay safe. and also be healthy with having this all fantastic healthy recipe now turn your gas to the medium flame have this chicken on it yes and for 5 to 10 minutes only it will get prepared so as this recipe is also getting prepared what we can do is because we have 5 times minute 5 times we have 5 minutes we have in your hand so we are going to make because what is happen you know uh, we are tired making all this recipe is it no we are not at all tired but we enjoy cooking and we really love cooking because what happens when you make some recipes you enjoy but after making this recipes is this delicious recipes this colorful recipes when you serve someone and someone is going to have it uh, with a fantastic delicious thing they are going to say wah kya baat hai bahut badhiya banaya and that is the thing which makes you refresh but for more refreshing we are going to make a drink now which is a mocktail and which is of watermelon so all the preparations have been done for this mocktail we are just going to have this mocktail here so now i have taken fresh pudina leaves what all are the ingredients here i have taken this watermelon juice i have taken some around uh, a bowl of watermelon uh, pieces i have just without water i have taken this watermelon juice a fresh watermelon juice this are the mint leaves fresh mint leaves which i have kept into the fridge and also now and outside just take some ice cubes and you can make it it looks refresh and the color doesn't get changed these are the small pieces of watermelon i have cut and now for the preparation what you have to do because what is happening in the other side this uh, mini pancakes are getting you know baked so for uh, in between we have 5 minutes so to get refresh we have to try something which is already done wow what i'm going to do is i'm not going to use any salt into it nothing but the main ingredients are the watermelon juice the mint leaves fresh watermelon cubes and some of the chaat masala which you know what I, what we do is basically when we have this watermelon regularly to eat it we just pour some watermelon into it or uh, some chaat masala into it and then we have it but now in this season is it, it it is really hot now and what will help you for getting refresh is the fourth ingredient is that tulsi bee and this is the tulsi bee what i have poured into the water see this are the tulsi bees you get it into the uh, medical store or so 
it's very easily available or subja or you can use subja also now what you have to do is first take subja i have taken subja and the tulsi leaves in the same proportion and put it in the water one to to make a big glass you have to make you have to pour two things into this bowl now freshly watermelon juice into it this really makes you very refreshing super okay what i have done is i have taken some of the tulsi bees and some sabja which is poured into the water for 10 minutes it gets fluffy it gets into it then watermelon some of the fantastic mint leaves will go into it i'm not going to do anything i have just washed it properly and kept it into the ice i have going to add this much of mint leaves into it wow super now what i'm going to pour is some chaat masala only a pinch of salt and the mixture of chaat masala chaat masala and pinch of salt only a pinch of salt not much wow fantastic wow now the sada cubes will go into it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 Superb. You have to just stir it. You have to pack this. You have to keep aside for some time. Until then, you have to just go through your pancakes. Is it ready or no? Wow. is it yes so are the pancakes ready yes one side has been ready so i'm going to twist it for the other side all these vegetables have been cooked because what we have done is for 5 to 10 minutes we have kept a lid on this super now on a high flame only for some 2 to 3 minutes it will get ready so i'm going to keep this aside also to make it afterwards i'm going to show you all these things what i have prepared now for the final presentation great wow so all these things are getting prepared i'm just showing you how this all these things are getting ready to serve masala is going back at the places let's have come here 
Super. So this masala bowl is here. Now. What are this? These are the cutlets, sprout cutlets with sprout bale. And you can have a delicious thing. This is the watermelon upma which we have prepared. And really, it when you will taste, you'll make it and you'll taste it. It's really yummy. And now the last but not the least, we are going to prepare this fantastic veggies pancakes. So I'm going to serve this veggies pancakes as it gets prepared. And you know, fantastic mocktail has been prepared here. So just see, is it cooked? Wow. Yes, it's cooked properly. So in two minutes, this pancakes will get ready. Uh, my more of the, I think, mixture is ready. Uh, and I'm going to have it after the session. And I also think so that you also all are going to enjoy this. Because all these recipes, what I have shown today, I think one, two, three, four, and five, five recipes I have shown. It's fantastic. Only what you have to do is, you have to make the preparation, which is the first preparation for the recipes. And after all the preparation is ready, but after all the recipes get prepared. So I'm going to turn off the gas. I'm going to make the pancakes here. Super pancakes, veggies pancakes are ready to serve. So friends, these are the fantastic five recipes. This is the veggie stamp cake which I have prepared for you. And it's really uh, delicious. If you have a mint chutney, if you have a, a cucumber chutney also, you can enjoy it. If you have only curd, you can enjoy this pancakes with it. If you don't have, and if you have a tomato ketchup, also you can have this with tomato ketchup. Fantastically. Sprout, I love it very much. The sprouts cutlets are ready uh, and it's really yummy. If you make it and taste it, it will definitely give you a taste. This is the best option for the sprouts bale because all the veggies and the sprouts goes into the bowl with some of the spices which gives you a flavor. So definitely try it your home and don't miss for this fantastic recipe which is a watermelon upma. Because watermelon, we eat it, only the red portion, but the white portion, we definitely, what we do is, we throw it. But we don't have to throw this, but we have to use this because it's very healthy and it makes you very refreshing. And this is the fantastic mocktail with a superb combination of red and green and, uh, and of course the subja and the tulsi tea, which makes you refreshing. Now, so... It's Chef Tushar, which I have shown you the five recipes in only a short period with all the ingredients which were pre-ready uh, with me. So did you like the session? Definitely comment me and I'm waiting for your comments. And did you like the session? Please let me know. So can we have a look again and I can hear your uh, comments with it that did you really like the recipes or no?